problems, we are measuring the problems, we are uh, analyzing the problems, and we are finding ways how to uh, measure it, analyze it, and using various tools in the Lean Six Sigma three phases, define, measure, and analyze. Now we move to the solution phase. So you must be happy. Yes, we are going to find solution for the problems which we have identified. If we find out the right solution and if it is successful, that is going to help my company to perform well, my department to grow, and my organization to be successful one. So now we move to the improve phase, which will be critical for identifying the solution. Which is, so the main and foremost objectives of improve phase will be discussed along with the steps which we have to use and the and tools and techniques everywhere in the Lean Six Sigma phases, we will be using tools to define, measure, analyze, and even for improve phase also, we will be using certain tools which will help us to find out the solution. Sometimes the same tools may be repeated again and again, but because of the compatibility, we will be used, we'll be able to use it in different phases of the Lean Six Sigma process. Okay, so what are the objectives of the improve phase? So in the improve phase, the first and foremost objective is to identify solutions. We have so many problems, we have confirmed the problem. Okay, we have identified and we have validated the root cause for the problem. Now we know the exact root cause. So there is no difficulty in identifying the solution. First, we have to identify the solution as far that you can use certain tools. Then you can evaluate for optimum solution. After that, once you have evaluated for optimum solution, that is a better solution which shoots the problem, we go for implementing the solution in a pilot method, that is implementing in a small scale level. Okay, so after finding the optimum solution for the problem, we go ahead and implement it in a small scale and get some real some data and find the challenges. And then we go ahead and reevaluate it and then we implement in the full scale. So these are the objectives. So from identifying the problem, now we have entered into the identifying solutions for the problem. So these are the three important objectives and the steps which we are going to do in improve phase. So each and every phase of the Lean Six Sigma process is carried out in steps. So step number 10 of the, that is the first step of the improve phase is to generate and evaluate solutions. We have to generate solutions for the problem which we have identified by the root cause which we have confirmed and validated. And we have to evaluate the solution also. Okay, that we, for that also we have tools which can help you to evaluate and identify the uh, efficiency of the solutions. Then we have to select the optimize, best solution which will be giving out better results. Then finally, we go ahead and implement the solution and try to extract the results. So these are the three steps. Generate the solutions, select the best solutions and implement the solution at the pilot level and then go for complete implementation at the full level. So at the end of the improve phase, you will be having a proposed solutions. Then definitely you have to do a cost and benefit analysis. See the cost, without cost and benefit analysis, definitely your management won't be approving the solution. Okay, you, for example, if you have to invest some 10 lakh for implementing the project, okay, you, you have to show benefits in the next six months or in the next one year. Uh, for at least 15 lakhs or 20 lakhs, and you have to show how much time it takes to pay the particular investment which you have made. Then only your top management will be happy about the project and they will be ready to invest on it. So you have to make a cost and benefit analysis and present it to the top management in an acceptable manner. So once that you get the top management approval for implementation of the project, you can go ahead with the pilot plan. That is implementation of the solution in a small scale, implementation of the project in a small scale. Okay, so that you'll be able to know the real challenges, difficulties uh, which you have to face during the full scale implementation and you can reevaluate it and implement the solution in a full scale in a successful manner. So the three important steps in improve phases, you have to select the, uh, you have to select the solutions, sorry, you have to find out the list of solutions, then you have to select the solutions, then you have to implement them in prop, pilot level and at full scale level. Okay. So at the end of the improve phase, you'll be having a full scale, uh, you will be having a solution implemented at a full scale level. And you have to do it after getting the top management approval through proper cost and benefit analysis and after implementing a pilot plan. So this is what we will be executing in the improve phase. So to generate solutions, what are the tools and techniques available? See, brainstorming is what we have already discussed. We have seen the use of brainstorming in the analyze phase also. So in generating solution also, you can use the brainstorming. Apart from that, you can use creative thinking and benchmarking, 
which you came to know when you are using this green belt and black belt. Okay, so and to evaluate the solutions, you can use multi voting or nominal group technique or FMEA. That is quite a, a interesting tools. So uh, let us use a interact. Let us have an interactive session. I think you will be completing this session in another 10 or 15 minutes. So don't worry about the time. So now I think all of you can switch on your video and I'm going to give you a problem with the root cause and you are going to give me five solutions. Very simple. You are going to give me five solutions in a single sentence. Please don't give me explanations. Just give me a solution in a single sentence. Okay, the scenario is, say I am going to be the coordinator for the brainstorming session. So from the brainstorming, we are going to evaluate the solution using multi, uh, nominal group technique. Okay, so the scenario is currently the industrial growth is very poor. So that is the solution. How to improve the industrial growth in India? Okay, how to improve the industrial growth in India? So for this, you have to give me solutions. So first five solutions can be accepted. So people who are ready, can give me the solution. Yes. Ashit Shah, yes. Solution number one. All of you, please listen. Sure. Please listen. You have to vote for the solution. That is why I'm asking you to listen. All of you, please listen. Yes, Ashit Shah. Government should give the loan for a cheaper rate. Yes, first purpose. solution. Yes, first solution. Single center. That is sufficient. Government should uh, support the uh, small scale industries, medium scale industries by providing loans okay at reasonable rates yes sir that is correct yes sir okay first yes, solution sir. is to improve the industrial growth in the country in india government has to provide loans at reasonable rates to the companies okay second solution anybody you can give any solution no need i am not going to give you marks for that yes training is training training for whom to improve the business to improve you, you said say to uh, speak only a word that's why i said training yes, i i asked to give a sentence sentence so actually sandeep patel's uh, word can be expanded Sufficient training can be provided. Government can remove the raw material taxes. Sorry, I didn't get you, sir. Government can the raw material taxes are reduced, so we will improve our uh, uh, pro, um, yeah. product prices less. So, second solution is if government is ready to reduce the tax rates, and that will be helpful for the companies. First solution is you provide loan. Second one is you reduce the tax rate. And third one, I take Sandeep solution as a third one, provide proper training. Okay. In uh, the initial stages to the company people through various sources like uh, NSIC is there so that you'll be able to improve the productivity and uh, industrial growth. Anyone? Fourth solution. So we can uh, I mean, go rate on uh, import yes. and low tax rate on export. Okay, that is another solution. That is, you have to increase the customs duty for the import and reduce the uh, tax for the exports. That Export will promote too. the uh, growth of industrial, okay, industries, because exports will be more and as a result of that economical growth will be there. Fourth solution is reduce the uh, imp, uh, export tax and increase the import tax. Yes, Mayank, last one, fifth solution. So government can uh, introduce uh, inter, uh, entrepreneurship subject in schools. Okay, government can create awareness among the students to take social entrepreneurship and start industries on their own. Instead of seeking job, they can become entrepreneurs and start industries. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now we have five solutions. So the problem in India is, okay, we have an economical uh, declination. So to short it out, five, are given five solutions. Yes. Could you please mute that particular... Uh, participant Priya madam okay yes, sir. So, please mute uh, Nila Dray. yes 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 sir I will take okay so now we have five solutions in hand we had we had a problem for that problem we have developed five solutions five minutes 
we got five solutions that is the power of brainstorming okay now all of you are going to get involved in an activity what you have to do is solution number 1 is uh, you have to provide loans i am saying it in a simplified manner solution number 2 reduce the tax rates solution number 3 provide sufficient training solution number 4 reduce the import taxes and so reduce the export taxes and increase the import taxes and solution number 5 is yes given by mayank is you have to yes could you please repeat mayank so you can introduce entrepreneurship yeah. subject in school make students aware of entrepreneurship and ask them to encourage them to start companies so i want all of you to vote on this particular solution so if you like solution number 5 you can give it 1 uh, okay you can put 5 in the bracket you can put 1 okay if you like solution number 2 you can put 2 1 so you can arrange you you can vote for any three solutions 5 for example if you like the solutions 1 2 and 3 you can write which solution you like must be come first 3 2 1 the solution you should like must be in the first place the solution which you like second must be in the second place the solution which you like third must be in the third place okay so you can give a order to the solutions and put it in the chat box please go ahead 2 minutes just type it 1 2 3 4 5 is there you can give any order okay that will decide which solution has to be accepted Yes, three one five five three two three. Five three three four five. Very good. Very good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, thank you. So now we got a list of evaluations. See, this is evaluation. So even without any kind of deep discussion, just by sitting in your place, you people are able to give me a evaluation of the solutions. So mostly. Uh, five have been uh, provided. Three is there. Okay, then five, three, four is dominating the entire solution list. Okay, so you can go for five or three. Okay, so just for evaluation, it takes nearly for evaluating five solutions. We have taken only three or four minutes without any discussion. Suppose. if a solution if it can create a conflict among the people who are discussing during brainstorming we can go for a uh, voting like this that is you can give your preference okay in a written format so as we are in the online i ask you to type in the chat box but you can sit in your seat and you can write the uh, order and give it to a helper and ask it to submit it to the facilitator so by that we are able to choose the solution easily this is called a nominal group technique that is without meeting we are able to finalize the solution okay so the if the solution is quite complicated and if more people are dominating the discussion during brainstorming it is very difficult to choose the solution so in that case you can choose a solution using this voting method or through writing the solution in a paper and giving it to the facilitator so the solution which is mostly preferred by many participants of the brainstorming will be selected and will be pro processed to the next stage so this is how we can evaluate the solution using nominal group technique and multi voting process i think you understand the process easily right any difficulties so no sir yeah likewise we can evaluate the solution this benchmarking is nothing but comparing the process of different companies for example if my company is not doing well uh, process okay my sales is not well my marketing is not well see for my market share is very less because my marketing team may not be doing the pro uh, work properly 
so i compare the market uh, marketing team of another company which is doing well and trying to follow a similar methods or process in a legal manner that is benchmarking you compare your competitor okay you compare four or five competitors and you choose a competitor which is doing better in the market and trying to follow their process so that you can also improve your marketing capability likewise you can choose any process marketing sales production quality control shipping inventory okay distribution services dealer retention customer satisfaction you can choose any area which you are weak and try to improve your process by that also you will be able to generate lot of solution that is one technique which we can do in the improve phase for to to develop the solution so this is how you can generate solutions and evaluate solutions in the improve phase okay now as i said so, told this is an fme stand for sorry fme fme is failure mode and effect analysis that is a lot of failures are possible in our process okay so you will be learning these tools in green belt in a detailed manner that is fme stands for failure mode and effect analysis see a lot of failure is possible in our process so we have to identify each and every failure that may happen so okay i will ask a simple question what are the possibilities that this online training may fail one of you can give a one answer what are the possibilities any one of you any one of you what are the possibilities of failure of this online class are able to understand the yes uh, attendance issue attendance issue or if there is no internet connectivity imagine i have don't in, i have no internet connectivity or you don't have any internet connectivity simple the online class will fail so yes yes there is a failure mode available in this online class okay suppose if i am not uh, if i am uh, typing so many content which are having lot of uh, spelling mistake that is also a failure both are failure but which failure will affect you more internet internet because if you doesn't have internet you won't be able to see what i am seeing but if there is a spelling mistake you will be able to correct it you will be able to understand it so we should we should be able to analyze and find the failure modes that are possible in a particular process and you have to list out all the failure modes and there are three factors like severity occurrence and deduction based on that you can calculate a number called risk priority number so after calculating the risk priority number you will be able to choose which risk you have to give top priority for example in this online uh, class the failure mode can happen either through internet facility or through uh, suppose uh, my if my laptop is not working then also there is a possibility of a failure of this particular online classes and suppose if the if there is spelling mistake also that is also a failure of this online class but that it is not going to create a high impact okay so we have to find out all the failure modes and we have to find out the severity of the failure mode if there is no internet connectivity it is quite very severe because it is it will disconnect you from the online class but if there is a spelling mistake that is also a failure mode but it doesn't affect you severely so based on this we will prioritize the risk and we will give importance to the risk to the failure mode which can create more severity okay so through that process also through that tool also you will be able to evaluate the solution that is called fme uh, since you doesn't have the luxury of uh, hours you, you won't be able to learn this fme tool in detail in the elobel program so you can learn those tools in a very detailed manner in uh, green belt which will be having 32 hours of time okay so if you join green belt definitely you'll be able to learn all these tools and techniques in a detailed way okay so through this fme also you'll be able to analyze the evaluate the solutions so this is what i explained you'll be able to share your knowledge your ideas and your selection of solutions in a silent manner through this nominal group technique which can be used to evaluate the solutions now during the discussion all of you will remain silent you just typed your solution uh, preference your solution order by that i am able to choose the best solution as a facilitator it is easy for me without any great discussions or any conflicts or any domination in the discussion i was able to choose the uh, solution very easily so that is what this uh, solution generation technique can do so 
in the solution generation technique we are able to either use a brainstorming or creative thinking or benchmarking to generate a lot of solution and we are able to evaluate the solution using uh, ngt nominal group technique or multi voting or through this failure mode and effect analysis so once we have uh, so generated the solution and evaluated the solution we have to go for a pilot why there is a need for pilot what is this pilot the pilot is the implementation of the solution in a small scale okay implementation of a solution in the small scale so we have already a evaluated solution in hand a team of expert has generated the solution and they have evaluated using any one of the tool like multi voting or uh, ngt or fmea and now we have a solution in hand so we have to be very happy okay man i have a solution in hand i have to move to the next step that is we start with the small investment we start with the small level of implementation of the solution that is called pilot normally some of you would have heard this word pilot projects okay so why we need to do this pilot project it is a trial run just like a trial run performed on a small scale okay to make the full scale implementation more successful and effective okay if only we know the challenges and difficulties we will be able to handle the full scale implementation easily okay so if only we do the pilot scale implementation we will be execute, able to execute the full scale implementation and with the more ease and comfort as a result of that you'll be able to get the expected results and apart from that this a pilot scale implementation the pilot implementation will help you to expose the challenges difficulties issues which will come during the project solution implementation okay so apart from that when there is a when the company wants to Uh, when the company is having some financial issues they also can limit a, limit the investment at the time also you can use a pilot uh, project idea okay so this pilot is a over, in a overall it will help you to assess the true nature of the solution which you have in your hand so after implementing the solution through pilot only you will be able to understand the real uh, nature of the solution you will get as far as until the pilot you will be having a solution in paper you will be having data but when you implement the pilot you will be getting some real time data and you will be able to uh, mark it in the control chart and you will be able to assess them and you will be able to understand the challenges difficulties and during the full scale implementation you will be able to overcome easily okay how to implement the uh, solution in a full scale so definitely you have to do a uh, potential risk analysis using the fmea okay so before going for a full scale implementation you have to implement the uh, you have to check the solution with the fmea analysis the fmea is also a wonderful tool that is failure mode and effect analysis it will help you to find out the possible failure methods of a solution so that you can uh, reduce the risk of failure of the solution so this will help you to do that once you have done the risk analysis you go ahead and develop a implementation schedule schedule is very important right so all of you are here to learn the lean six sigma yellow bell process yellow bell program see you have a schedule okay so you have a schedule in the schedule your schedule is from 2 o'clock to 6 o'clock and the 2 o'clock you are having this uh, from uh, wednesday thursday and friday right so like this we need to have a schedule for implementation of the program okay so for example the government implemented a schedule for uh, uh, putting the vaccine across the country so you must have a solution implementation schedule which is important then you have to develop a training plan that is very critical because all the people who are connected to the particular solution must be provided sufficient training for example if you are implementing a solution in the hr department that is the current uh, attendance uh, process which is offline which is a manual has to be is going to be converted through a biometric then what we have to do we have to train the hr people then only they will be able to access the information and get the uh, do it properly so sufficient training plan has to be in place that is why companies are providing training regularly if they are uh, putting a new software or they are changing the system a training plan has to be in place then a communication plan there must be proper communication to all hierarchy level from top management middle management and to the subordinate level and to the uh, workers level because then only they will be aware about the new solution which is being implemented and the benefits of the solution will be reach will be will be going to the bottom of the company and everybody will be aware of it okay and finally definitely you need to do a cost and benefit analysis even after the full scale implementation because company doesn't is being companies always uh, looks after the 
uh, any process in a profitable manner they they always look for currency they always look for money so you must provide them sufficient benefit analysis what is the return of investment you are going to give them for the money they have invested for the capital amount they have invested so this cost and benefit analysis is important even after implementing the full scale solution so this is how you have to go for the full scale implementation you do fme analysis you develop a implementation schedule you get, you create a training plan and you communicate the implementation of the solution to all of them and finally we go with the cost benefit analysis yes so this is how you implement the full scale solution so and apart finally you have to go for a, after that you have to reevaluate what is it i have given a new solution i have implemented in my companies in my department in my workshop in my quality control department in my inventory in my godown in my warehouse after that i have to do the uh, revalidation process again how i have to check whether my measurement system is correctly in place whether the equipments are calibrated whether the system is followed properly then only the data which i am getting will be a correct one otherwise i may be getting a incorrect one so you have to calibrate the equipments regularly you have to check whether the system operational definition is properly followed during the measurement everything has to be done again and again then only the continuous improvement is possible okay then you have to collect the data and you have to calculate the sigma level you have to calculate the capability indices cp cpk and you have to do the hypothesis test whether the decisions are made properly and again you have to do the fmea to check whether the risks are under control by doing this fmea we can check whether any risk is um, creating lot of disaster to the process and we have to make corrective actions and bring it under the control so risk elimination is highly possible we cannot eliminate the risk com completely but we can keep it under control so that it won't affect your process so this revalidation process is repeated again and again so that the solution which you have implemented will be giving the fruitful results continuously so in the improve phase we are generating solutions okay we are optimizing the solution using certain tools like ngt and nominal group techniques uh, multi voting and fmea and after that we are going for a pilot scale implementation then once the pilot scale is a successful one we go ahead and implement in the uh, full scale level and we do the cost benefit analysis and the management is quite happy then we go for revalidation of the solution data using the msa then we calculate the sigma level cp cpk fmea is repeated once again to check the risks available in the process and keep it under control so this is how we end the uh, improve phase so once we complete the improve phase we have to make sure that the process is under control how because see for example all of us i would have seen traffic lights see in the traffic light there will be a traffic constable the traffic light itself is a uh, 